Call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this 11th day of, of May 2021 at 5 p.m. Uh, I want to ask uh, Brother uh, Wendell Sanifer to lead us in a prayer and place the flag. Father, we come to your presence and we pause just momentarily. We see you have blessed us in marvelous ways. And yet there's some ruts in the road along the way, but you said you'd always be there. These government leaders, they don't always get the praise they deserve. But Lord, you, would you just bless them, give them insights and wisdom to make the right decisions. And we live in one of the best counties in the country, as far as I'm concerned. I was born here and raised here for many years. Of course, I have moved away, but Lord, you was always with me wherever I went. I, I just give you praise. And, and honor and glory for the many, many blessings you showered upon us and uh, on the county and the government and, and all the work that's going on. Thank you again. Be it those that have needs, the sick, those that lost loved ones, and just give you praise and honor and glory. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Before you, you have the minutes of the April 27th meeting. Do I hear a motion to approve? I make a motion. I have a motion by Joe Barnes, second by... Jason Bullock. Is there any discussion, corrections, or additions to the minutes? Any discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers. I need a motion for that. Motion for Larry Cam. Chicken and Let's do the light bill. Includes the late list. Including the late list. Have a second? Second. Second of Sam's mom. Go over the late No, no further discussion. Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. The bills, claims, statements, and transfers are approved. Uh, Lita Lisa's on the on the agenda here, but uh, she won't do her pres presentation at this time. We'll do it another time. Okay. Before you have the clerk's April 21 uh, financial report. We make a motion we acknowledge. Second. Oh, motion to Sam Small, second to Joe Barnes. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like Sam, motion carries. Before you have the sheriff's first quarterly fee report. I'll make a motion we acknowledge. I'll second. Sam. Motion to Sam Small, second to Jason Bull. Uh, is there any discussion or questions on that? How much is it, Ann? Have you, uh, How much is what? The uh, first report. Sure. Uh, I don't get that information. That's who, is that their quarterly or their Yeah, yeah. it's their fee. It's, is, it, is, it, is it? That's just a report she turns, uh, they turn into the tax office. I don't even have a copy. We got we have a copy on the back here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. It's on the back staple to your uh, agenda. Mm -hmm. uh, to answer your question, it's uh five hundred twenty three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. I 
Okay. No further discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed like saying? That's approved. Um, Bo is here. We had a, we need to pass, you remember he was here and we had a public hearing and everything on his trail grant last time, but we need to pass the resolution 2021-15 uh, uh, to go ahead and proceed with that grant. Uh, it was just an oversight that we didn't get done the last time. So moved on the resolution 20. Motion. 21-15. Motion Blair County, second to Jason Bull. Any further discussion? I, uh, Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. All the flag signs, that's fine. Right. Now, Bo's here for that, but he's got something else to talk to you about. Yeah. Uh, if I could, we've been doing a lot of work out there in the horse barn, and we've been using the facilities out there. We're getting tractor pulls, and uh, they're getting used in the livestock barn more often, and there's now needing in the process for uh, fans to be installed in there. So it's something that I'd like for y'all to look at, maybe to come out of reserve. Um, I think it's around 16,000. I know it seems high, but they're, they're the big commercial fans. Um, that's is, something that we would like to. Is that for two? That's for that's two of them, and that's installed, and, and that'd be them warranting. Is the park reserve? <laughs> it's a good statement, but no. <laughs> How big are they, folks? I think they're 10, 10 foot long, I think, is what. We, there's a place we go over, and I'm telling you, it is. It's, yes, they're, they're huge. They're pants. 10 or 15 foot long wide. And, uh, I, I would tell you the name of both. I don't know where you could feel comfortable <laughs> telling the name of the fans or not, the brand name of them. Uh, I'm a little reluctant to say the, not, the brand name. Yeah. They're called yeah. big ass fans, is what they're called. Uh, <laughs> they got the uh, big blank uh, fries, too, sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just this kind that's caught on the end where you suck, suck it. No, we've got those installed, but that building's so big. Yeah. Um, it's just. It's just uh, stagging in there. At the livestock shows is where I get the biggest complaint. Yeah. On. yeah. And like we have our beef shows there. Yeah. Drew and them 4-H and stuff. Maybe when needs assessment come on, they look at it. Look at it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And I also want to want to make sure you guys know that the Big S Fans is a is a Kentucky manufacturing company uh, in Lexington. It's one of the top employers in the United States, listed probably 10 years ago. Um, but it's a great company that is a Kentucky manufacturer of fans, so not local, but it is Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm like, Larry, I think we're we'll trying to get another bid. Well, can we have motion for up to that amount? And yeah, then I shop make that motion up to that. I just wish up to you from, shop from, from, from now on, just to please me, I suppose I'd just like to have a look at some other options. Hey, I'm fine with that. Whatever. Okay. I'm good. Okay. I'll second it. Motion by Larry Cam. Second by Larry Murphy. Any further discussion? This is going to come out of reserve? Yes. How much we got left? <clears throat> Uh, there's enough in there to get through the end of the year comfortably. Okay. She don't want to say so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rocco Moran. She's been doing that for years. years. Johnston? Yes. Cam? Yes. Larry? 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 Yes. Yes. Are they going to be able to put any motion carries. of this uh, CARES money back in reserve, or is it already? Yeah, we'll have some that will hey. carry over. Okay. Hey, Bo, just on a follow-up question, the fans is currently in there, or is there not any in there at all? There's two on each end, but that's not enough to keep the draft going. Yeah. I mean, it's not remotely big enough for that whole big building. This, this building, building, all four of them work? Or all two it's of them just two, two. and two. one on each end is all we yeah. have in there. This one building I've been in that has one of those, yeah. it's not quite as big as that, but there's only one fan. And it, it, it cools it. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's for everybody's safety, for the livestock, and for the people in there, because it gets pretty warm in that building. Oh, I know what it does. Fans won't take the humidity out, but right. it'll, it'll push the air around. Yeah. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay, thanks, everybody. Um, <laughs> pretty impressive size thing. Yeah. Okay, uh, did y'all see the resolution of where we're amending the uh, code severance uh, line out of money? What happened was we hadn't put everything on there that would carry over from last year because we thought we couldn't. And then come find out there was our check, quor quarterly check with more than we thought it was going to be. So we were going to be able to get all of them. So it went up, but it just carried over into the things we had last year. I'm having trouble finding my copy of that. It's in there. I've got the old copy, but don't have the new. No, no, no. Yet. It's attached. Yes, sir. You've got it. You've got it. You got it. Um, we got more money than we anticipated? Well, we got more. We, you remember we had budget last year. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when we rebudgeted and carried it over, we didn't carry it all over because we were afraid it wouldn't come in. Is that the new one? Yes, this is new. So uh, what we did, we put those on down there. We did combine uh, this last item with the, the new one we budgeted, with the old one that's left over, put them together and they're a little bit broad. So we've been looking at what we've got to do. If that roof at the road garage has to be replaced or if the handling service or whatever, we'll have enough money to do it then. Um, if not, it even broadens it up to other things. So I'd like to have a motion to, uh, to amend that to resolution. I'll make my motion. Motion with Joe Bond. Yeah. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. That is how they're doing it though. It's Any further discussion? Section, but it's quite it's part of this. Being none. All in um, favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Like sign? Oh, she cares. Yeah, so be sure to get me to sign it in for you. Well, we're in there. Okay. And I have almost forgot it. Yeah. 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 We left off the agenda, but the uh, District 2 Transportation Cabinet is here to, to pre present you this, which you'll have on your table. So, uh, Scott and Denise, come on up. We don't bite. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'll just take the mask off long enough to, uh, so you guys can hear. Okay. Uh, I've got to tell this is Scott Phelps, and I will tell you this. 
Um, as you know, there's changes in the state last year. And Doug Taylor, who used to be in the transportation cabinet, he came back from the governor's office. And uh, he had run into Scott somewhere, and, and then when uh, uh, when Doug Taylor talked to me, he said, you know, I run into somebody that said that you were there was your cousin, and that Scott Phelps. And he said, it said he, he didn't say you was his favorite one, but you were. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scott. Well, uh... We're here tonight to talk about the uh, fiscal year 2022 World Secondary Program. Uh, tonight, I'm with you, and we've got our Chief District Engineer, Denitra Henderson, is here as well. So, I know what you guys are waiting for, so we'll just go ahead and get into it. Total for your flex funds this year, $321,665. Uh, the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet funds is fourteen hundred twenty-three dollars and nine hundred and no, I'm sorry, one million four hundred twenty-three thousand nine hundred and fourteen dollars. This is a slide that uh, next two slides are slides that Jason wanted me to to bring up. Uh, the first one shows the total rural secondary routes in Ohio County. You notice you have one hundred and thirty-eight point zero six miles of rural secondary roads. Your total road miles is 331, so almost 50% of your roads are rural secondary. The next one is the roads that the rural secondary roads that we have paved since 2011 through 2019. This does not include 2020, or which got delayed and we're still working on. So of those 138 miles, we have paved 111 of them. So we're pretty close to having all of it covered within the 10 year period. Our first project up is 1414. You'll notice I put 1414 again because you know we have revisited that several times. We were hoping we were done, but due to age, we had a culvert that recently got reduced down to, I believe it's down to three tons now, and the school bus cannot make it through there. Uh, the school system is begging us to get this replaced, and we've got another one just up the road from that. I'm wanting to say it's somewhere about the five mile marker, same situation. Uh, but it has not been reduced down to three tons. I'm wanting to say it's down to 22 tons. But the our bridge inspector, uh, told me both of them need to be done if we can do it. Both of those have two culverts under them. We're going to replace the two culverts at each location with one large culvert. That will increase our flow and it's going to be an aluminum box culvert. So hopefully we won't have any more issues out of those culverts for a long, long time. Just so like we use. Yes. Our uh, ADT on 1414 is 507 vehicles a day, not to mention that's a, there's a lot of school traffic coming through there. And we're projecting that that cost is going to come in somewhere close to $800,000. I've gotten a, qu a quote on one of the, the culverts, and the other one's about the same size, so they should come in fairly close. Project number two is Kentucky 1118 beginning at the Butler County line and ending at Kentucky 505. That's the entire length of it, 2.813 miles. Uh, ADT on it is 151 vehicles a day, and I think we can get that in for somewhere close to $200,000. As I recall, uh, one of the comments we received was that Butler County recently paid their part, and we'd like to go ahead and get the rest of it done. The last project was a request made by, uh, by Larry Craig, our superintendent out the board. I asked him what he thought we needed it the most, and he suggested we look at 269, going from the Butler County line all the way up to US 231. That would be a total of 5.6 miles. ADT of 272 vehicles, and projected cost is going to be about $400,000. And I don't think either of these, I don't think any of these routes other than the 1414 have been presented for, for some time. 
Uh, if we should happen to have any additional, any funds left over, we're going to try and designate that for the maintenance crew to tap into to replace the cross drains under the roads that we're going to pave before they get there. That way, we don't have to worry about the cross drains and tearing up the pavement you know, afterwards. This, that's our goal. We're going to try to hit them off before the pavers come through. Are there any questions about the projects we've got selected? I would move that we, uh, with the exception of flex monies, accept the recommendation of the Kentucky State Department of Transportation. I second that. Motion second. Any further discussion or questions? Hey, now, what's your rope call that, Miranda? Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? No. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Where are we at on the 136? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's a note. That's why I stood up <laughs> right. for my yearly 136 bridge update. So that probably is the bridges, is that? Yeah, above bridges and just the narrow road. Some of the places the shoulders are rolling over. We run, you know, the, the problem is the Which safety factor if they do go off the road there. Yes. You know, so, we do appreciate the patches that when we yeah. the is limited. The, the mean, issue, well, man. the reason we, we can't use these funds on 136 because it is not a real secondary route. It's a state secondary yes. designation. But uh, I believe the, uh, the parts of work this calendar year have actually be getting beginning. Uh, on that, uh, on those bridge repairs, I believe that's right, isn't the nature? Well, I should have looked before I came because well, uh, I don't know that the construction money is in this biennium in the highway plan. Well, I, we were in a Zoom meeting, you remember, not too long with Judge Dane and myself. And yes. You and the folks from the state. We were reported. Um, so uh, we're, we're going to have it ready to let by uh, next summer. Now we've got some right of way and some utilities to do. Uh, before we get there, but that's that's the goal. Now that only addresses the bridges, not the narrow lanes outside of that. So that's more what we need. Um, a safety style project, if you all remember, US 231, they're going past uh, Southern Elementary towards Butler County. Uh, we, we need to, we are going to request that road to be on one of those projects, and that's how we'll get the shouldering type work done, and hopefully do that in conjunction with the bridge projects as well. That is, 136 is the only road ever that since I've been around that we actually had an emergency there and the paving crew showed up the next morning to patch near the bridges down toward the county line. You can thank, uh, thank uh, Judge Dame's wife for that. His wife had a close call with the semi and he called me and, and <laughs> we were able to get out there fairly quickly so to get those patches. But no, you have been on me also as well and so yeah. combined forces to call me. I think I had four calls within a couple hours and uh, that worked. So <laughs> you that, don't use that very often but it did work. So that's a different status of state road? <laughs> Yes. Yes. It's not a rural secondary. It's not a rural secondary. It's not rural Correct. secondary. So we have state, we have rural secondary, and then we have state secondary, and then we have major primary, which is US 231, and the parkway system, and so forth. So it's in that middle classification, and we use our um, FDO5 paving on that, or is this FDO5? Yeah, it's FDO5. We use FDO5, and so those go through um, a maintenance rating program every couple of years, and they get scored and ranked based on pavement position and so forth. And then at some point they will rise up the ranks and get uh, on the list for resurfacing. Now we didn't check. We should have known to check, but we didn't check to see where 136 would be. I'll get with you, Judge. If you can. Okay. So, so we'll on that. that note, 136 would be a lower status than 1414, or, well, or it's a higher, higher status. status. It's a higher status. Okay. It's a state secondary, and so it's um, it comes out a different fund, and those resurfacing projects are selected in a different way. Okay. So this fund, we have our discretion to right. work with local officials on how to get that, you know, where, where do we spend the rural secondary funds. State secondary is more of a formula-based program. So uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get an update and we'll pass along. Thank you. Thank you. Goes on, I want to amend my vote to a yes. Okay. So make that 5-1 then. Kim Barnes. He said yes. yes. Okay, it's, it's an unanimous thing. Just for the record, we have been trying to get Frankfurt 
on board with 136. Well, it's just just so you know where me and Sam's coming on it. Yes, I understand uh, completely. We, we tell them, well, it's a state road. And then they say, well, these other state roads are getting paid. And, you know, and they, they don't need to get them paid. Now, and, and, and right. And, 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 and so now I know more about it. I understand a little bit more. Just sure. explain to them now. It might not be a good ex explanation to the people out there, and, you know, because they, they don't understand how the funds get. Yeah. Joe, if you have any questions about that, give me a call. Okay. <coughs> hey, can I say something? 136 is a very bad road. We took an uh, emergency ambulance out that way the other day and lost the wheel. Had to buy a whole new wheel and a whole new tire because we hit the bridge. We had a big we give for right away. Do you know which bridge it was? It's one that's, it's one that's got the hump built up on the inside. We, we hit one about every three years. Right, I'll look at it and we'll yeah, see just what's going on there. Yeah, the it's, it's got a, like instead of the, the concrete being on the outside of the bridge, it's on the inside of each of the bridge. So I like, oh, build up that high. And I think several of them that way. Yeah. Like a curb. Yeah. Yeah, but this isn't straight stretch. Yeah. No, it's, it's a, a curb. Right. Like a curb on it's a, I think it's close to Tom's French Road. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Quick update, too, on another project that you may not be aware of. Um, uh, 231 uh, at Southern Elementary. We, um, we did that safety project through there last summer. And we were able um, i requested a change order to put a right turn lane into southern elementary so that work uh, that contractor has COVID and has not been able to get that started yet uh, but that is in the plans to put a right turn lane uh, going northbound no, south, southbound to southern elementary so i know at some point there was plans or requests for a left turn lane um, coming from the other direction that would take a bigger project with uh, right away and utilities and more money in the highway plan so we uh, the judge did sponsor that through our shift process of just how we uh, prioritize highway plan projects so we're still working on that as well that uh by southern they had a drainage issue there too did they by the where you talking about putting a turn lane uh, worked on it last year and i was there should should is it still going on i think so okay we'll go we'll, we'll take a look well, I appreciate you a, a lot, and uh, I also want to say how pleased I am with the communications where we call each other anytime we need it, and, and your local crew here will listen to us if we ask them something too, and, and I just really appreciate the relationship we have, and uh, before uh, the snow removal next year and stuff, we may talk more about how maybe we can help each other a little bit. All right. Well, thank, thank you. And uh, just one more announcement. Jason Ward has announced his retirement. Yeah. He'll be gone. He'll be leaving at the end of this month. He only has a few working days left. So Scott is perfectly capable. Just reach out to him with anything you would have for, with Jason. Um, his The number you all have is his personal number, so you can keep aggravating okay. after May 2. <laughs> Sounds great. We'll do that. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you. That motion did carry. Um, we need a short Jody. Short yeah. her a little bit. Short go session under uh, KRS uh, six one dash eight uh, ten chapter one sections A and M. And what he means by short is under not very tall. Hold on, do you have a motion? Need an motion. 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 motion by Joe. Well, let's second uh, by Larry. Go across. And everybody votes for it because they're going back. Let's go across. Hey, Judge. We're going to go across. Judge, you're broke. Make a motion. Make a motion. Second. 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 We'll say for the record that we made no, took care of no business back there. However, I do believe there's one motion that will come from that. Uh, Sam, to make the motion. I make a motion. We uh, will twenty five hundred dollars from reserves to replace the wall or fix the wall for the water damage in the hub. I'll second. Now, motion second. Any further discussion? Are we going to do the others too? Not right now. Not we'll the get others. More. We'll wait on it. We'll get get more prices, like you said. You get more bids. All in favor say aye. Aye. Both like sign. Motion carries. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.
Uh, uh, I need to appoint a new member, or uh, reappoint a member to the Water Commission. The Water Commission is the group that oversees the Rochester Dam construction, and I'm reappointing Charlie Shields. Is there a roll call? Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Um, next thing I have, uh, before we're going to get into committee reports, but the first thing I want to do, I want to add to the charges of the suicide prevention, uh, later named the uh, mental health uh, committee. I want to add to their charges to look into seeing if counseling is needed and how to get it for our first responders who have traumatic experiences. Uh, example, uh, going to uh, uh, deaths and, uh, uh, and traumatic things that they see where they might need help with it. Uh, this committee is to look in to see if that's needed and if so, how we may provide it. So uh, that's, that's just, just a change to, the, to it. Has there been other committee, uh, has there been committees met? Larry, I know you, we've got an upcoming one on the chair. Yeah, it'd be uh, admin. Yes, admin committee has another report. The next mental health meeting is June 7th, by the way, though. We met today. Yeah, but the next one after that is June 7th. No. Judge, I was just going to say that our meeting, what the next meeting with jail meeting, which is Thursday at 1 o'clock, we're concerned is uh, the gentleman from Litchfield that done the, uh, uh, for, uh, for uh, Grayson County, the, uh, what do you call it? Detention center. Uh, he yeah, done the architect work. Center, but the, the architect work, but he's out by himself or whatever, and we want to get a report, but he's supposed to give us some type of idea on what it would cost, isn't it? Isn't it correct? Yes. Is there uh, one you said? Yes. Yep. Yeah. And I would encourage if any of the fellow court members want to uh, participate, well, feel free to come come back. Uh, Thursday at one o'clock. Yes. Fiscal courtroom. Okay. Um, is there any other committees to report? Uh, 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 Joe, you said you had one. Your committee may. Yeah. Admin committee or the administration code committee. Uh, we've got these recommendations. We've all got copies of them, and there's some text in red as main changer. But what it what it mainly consists of is uh, any any employee that's coming from another participating agency with the retirement of the state retirement uh, will be able to bleed, begin it immediately wait the three months probation period because they're already enrolled with it and uh, health insurance will begin the first month following 60 days of employment instead of the 30 days uh, run into a lot of uh, turnovers in some departments and uh, that should save us a good bit of money there and allow employment from the age of 16 and up like um, receive we must follow the child labor laws, of course, and it's all in here, but that's uh, a lot of employers actually allow 14 uh, or so nowadays. Um, like I said, there's some text in here that we're just going to remove. It's just redundancy and the stuff that's in the admin, community, uh, the admin code uh, saves a little bit of time instead of reading it all. Yeah, and, and one of them, and one of them was where. Uh, when we changed our, our rules on the absenteeism, the old phrases were still in there, so we just take them out. Right. Uh, Joe, who all met? It was me and Sam and um, Cassidy. And uh, well, I, I, the reason I asked, and uh, certainly, certainly doesn't bother me in the least, I'm texting somebody else on the committee. But Jason, you and I, and you and yeah. I, and Best Ralph was on the committee along with, well, with Sam. I don't know yeah. how I, I got on it. I missed well, one meeting. I don't know how I got I'll changed. Yeah, I like it's it. It's always been us. I, yeah, like right. I said, it doesn't really matter to me one way or the other. I just well, uh, just kind like of curious. I would, I would be glad for you to take no, my place I, again. I was just. Uh, uh, I added to Joe to it at a meeting here one night. Yeah, and I would hear. 
<laughs> that was the one meeting I missed that I got on another committee. So I, I, think the first I thought you were laughing about that. So I thought y'all kind of set me up on that. You updated it a few of them. It oh, wasn't just that one. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd be glad to get back. No, I'm just uh, I'm just not going to miss any meetings. That's all. I'm gonna right, right. Yeah, don't miss it. <laughs> yeah. To get put on. Yeah. Okay. But, and and that meeting I met, I was in a training. So it wasn't like I just Y'all look them over. We're supposed to in the month of June to do that. So the first meeting in June that'll be in the form of promotion. But I would advise you not to miss any meetings. Not a bit. Yeah. Get on committees. Uh so that's pretty much it. That's just a brief okay. save a little bit of time since we're going late tonight. Okay. Appreciate it. Any other committee? Any other committee? Uh, I'll give a quick uh, COVID report. Uh, we are still overall not too bad, but the key to it's been proven that uh, it is the uh, vaccine that's going to bring us to the end of this. Of the deaths in the state of Kentucky, all the deaths in the state of Kentucky, uh, there has been none where folks had both shots. If you had both of your vaccinations, you're fully vaccinated with that time period, uh, 10 to 14 days past that, there's been nobody died that had it. And we've had two more deaths in there uh, since the last meeting in our county. So uh, we had 23 new cases last week, which is not good. So again, I'm just going to urge everybody to go get their shot. Uh, I'm not going to chastise anybody that hasn't, but I would just really love it. You too. Hear that loud? I heard that. Uh, but anyway, that's my report. But please go get that vaccine, and it's, you get it anywhere. You get it the, uh, you can get it at the health department, you get it at the hospital, or you get these mobile clinics going around. There's one at Purdue now. Uh, what is Walmart giving free ones soon? You want it? Yeah. I, when I walked in today, they, they were giving out for them. But no, but uh, the one that the state's putting out, there's no questions asked. There, there's no chance it's going to be picked up if you owe child support or if you're not undocumented or if you uh, have a warrant on you or anything. No questions asked. We'll get you shot. So uh, please, please get us. Um, we're uh, down to master's comments and questions and requests. Comments and requests. Sam. Uh, I don't have anything. Jason. Me neither. Joe. Uh, no, the, if you may get any questions on any that on admin code, you can call me. I'm just trying to take some time because I know we got a few people out in the crowd that's pretty good talking. Okay, and you're going to be voting on it in June, first thing in June. Right. Larry? Uh, just a sour and forth of the any update on it. It's been fixed, tore back up, new, new stuff ordered, and it should be working again for this Friday, I sure hope. Okay, that's all I have. Okay. Uh, Justin, no judge, thank you. Is anybody in the uh, here got something for the good of the body? Mr. Haney? Uh, yes. First of all, I want to thank Mr. Sanifer for showing up. He's my neighbor, and uh, finally got somebody here to back me up. And uh, uh, just I'll keep this as short as possible. I just uh, my wife got this off the computer the other day. Some of you might be uh, familiar with it. 8.75 million announced for Rough River Dam Rehab. U.S. Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell announces Monday that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has dedicated 8,750,000 to ongoing Rough River Lake Dam remediation project in fiscal year 2021. According to them, 2012 safety report on the existing dam called for structural improvements to lower the risk of flooding to surrounding homes and communities. This was due to the dams being constructed on a karstic foundation, which is landscape undermined, undermined by limestone and can be dissolved by water, leaving voids within it. So I'm sure this is something we really need, but it's too bad they're not concerned about us people down the river, that the water can't even get down. Uh, Judge, uh, I just wanted to clue you on a few things. Uh, I didn't at all take this thing in my own hands. I just kind of thought I'd help it along. So Scott Lewis is supposed to be there tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Okay? Yes. Charlie Shields is going to be with them. 
Yes, I, the, I hope that'll be a, hope that'll be a positive. Um, I understand that Charlie Shields is meeting with uh, Raymond Hagen next Monday, okay. possibly going to sign another contract. Um, I wouldn't know what to tell you people about that. I, I hope for the best. I'm skeptical because Raymond Hagen was one of the four that was here with Maverick. He worked for Maverick, but I think he's a pretty good guy. I think he's a pretty good guy. There's another gentleman that I brought up when I made my last little speech here a couple months ago, and I think he's a pretty good guy too, but um, his name is uh, Glenn Hitchcock, but now he, all he is, is a consultant. But he was, he was a consultant for Maverick. But he told me that the reason this didn't go was because Maverick was padding it too much. And that could very well be. Uh, I just, uh, like I say, I, I wouldn't know what to tell you people to do. All I know is I appreciate what you've done. I appreciate what you tried to do. And I've just, I, I know it's tough. I know it's, I, I know it's tough. Um, uh, a thing that's really curious about this whole thing, last year, last year, just about this time, is when we had a little bit of movement. And a little bit of movement was engineers came out. And I was excited. I was excited. But you know what happened at the same time? Maverick was bought out by AMS, American Mitigation Services. So as far as I, what I, here's what I can find out. I guess American Mitigation Services, eight to $20,000 worth of engineering. And I, I hate that. I hate anybody had to eat it, but maybe they got what they deserve. And now, now what I understand, I had been talking to Jeff Jones, owner of Maverick, until just about three months ago. And he told me he was doing his best to get away from American Mitigation Services. And they have now. And he was going to do this job, but I think you guys did the right thing by getting rid of him because I don't think they were going to do nothing. Nothing had happened. So, you know, here here we are, here we are. Uh, and the other thing I think all you people know, and I know Charlie knows it, and I hate to say this, but the Corps of Engineers is no friend of any of ours. No. I, I hate to say it, all they tell you is what you can't do. Yeah. and what they can't do and they have actually flooded my crop twice out this year already yeah, well they say they don't mind uh, water keeps flowing they don't really care where it flows right right i mean they if we had three one inch rainfalls two and a half inches will put me underwater but three three inch rainfalls won't and it was we've had a reasonable spring we've had a very reasonable spring and I told my farmer, I said, don't put that crop, this is his first year, and I told him, I said, don't put that crop out before April 15th, and probably not until after Mother's Day. But he got anxious and did it, but thank God it's okay. But the, we had water over the fields, and a lot of other people had it over, and there was a lot of people got calls from the court, and they, and they shut it out, but they ain't out to help nobody. They and, and they covered two of my fields, but it's going to make it. It's going to make it. But I mean, they are. Just to give you a quick example, when my wife, when I found out yesterday that the Scott Lewis was coming out, so my wife directly called them and said, "Please don't, please don't turn the turn the drain on because we got somebody coming out to look at that, and we were in good shape for them to look at it." And would you believe they turned it on this morning? <laughs> and now they've supposedly turned it off. But I mean, they're not—they're not looking to help nobody, but the but the voters. So this is what we're we're up against. But I do—I I, talk to them a lot, and they assured me. They told me when we when the Corps of Engineers builds a dam, we have a contract with that state. And that contract states that we're responsible for the first half mile of that river, and the rest is the state's responsibility. So, I don't know if you know that to be true. I don't know. 
I don't know. I can't believe that nobody is responsible for a river. To be honest with you, that's about the way it is. That's, uh, I think not. it is. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, buddy. Isn't that now? We're going to call this meeting. Did you ever see you guys back in two weeks? Or I'll see you Thursday. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.